No, no, I know you've already seen it. I just don't know if you watched the whole thing. Look, 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 look. All right. So look, after we came in, Nate had to hide under my desk here for like three whole hours while we were all hooping and hollering and celebrating all around him. <laughs> then, once we all split, he thought he was in the clear, and boom, cleaning crew shows up. No oh, man. That's another two hours under that desk. Yeah. Well, after they leave, he crawls out. His legs just gotta be jelly. Barely stand up. Look at this. He goes to check the doors, but they're all locked. <laughs> oh man, that son of a gun. Had to climb out the window here just to get out of the building. <laughs> You know, I don't know about you, Coach, but I hope that either all of us or none of us are judged by the actions of our weakest moments, but rather by the strength we show when and if we're ever given a second chance. All right, have fun tonight, Coach. Uh, and we rely on each other. Uh-huh. Fuck. Hi. Hey, what are you guys doing? We thought we'd come and keep you company. Fucking celebrate. Yeah! Because that was fucking amazing, Jamie. Yeah, it was fucking amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey. Uh, you start us off? Mm. Don't mind if I do. Right. What the fuck happened, man? <laughs> <laughs> Did I look sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Shame you weren't injured in your fucking head, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god. You had to kill me. Ted and I met playing college football. He was a backup punter, I was a backup kicker. We never got in a game. But we spent a lot of time together jogging and doing box jumps. After school, we went our separate ways. He was dating Michelle, got into coaching, and I got into prison. When I got paroled, I had no money. Family didn't want me. I had nowhere to go. So I looked up Ted. He took me in, fed me, let me crash on his couch. And in return, I stole his car. I didn't get far. And I would have gone straight back to prison if Ted didn't come down there and convince those cops that he gave me the car. Just like in Les Mis? Our story is very similar to Les Mis, yes. You went to prison? Yes, for stealing a loaf of meth. And then I stole from my friend. Who forgave me and gave me a job and a life. So to honor that, I forgive you. I offer you a job. The life part's up to you. Thank you. I'm sure you don't want to headbutt me. I think it might make us feel better. Monday, 10 a.m. 